Hey guys, it's um, Clojo, I guess. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a music video with Camtasia. Um, as you kind of know, I kind of quit, but um, yeah. So, I'm kind of awkward right now, so yeah. Um, this is our new channel. Subscribe, I guess. So, yeah. Um, first off, you're going to have to use a recording of whatever you want in a song and but you can't use uh, iTunes for some reason it's just not compatible with Camtasia so I use a free YouTube mp3 converter so I'm gonna pull that up I guess Frozen Bites, Frozen Turtle. Okay. You're not very nice. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, you go to YouTube. You copy the URL. And then. <clears throat> okay. And then you paste it right here. And then you press download. But for now, I'm just going to pull up a song. So, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I found a song that I like, um, so you drag it into track one, it doesn't matter, but just think of them as layers, I don't know, <laughs> and so how I got the song was I downloaded it from my YouTube converter, then I imported the media, so, and then I dragged it over here. And then you're going to want to record, um, I don't know, like the first lyrics, I guess. And, yeah, so, this is what I kind of got so far. It's kind of bad, but, um, and the song is Chemical Kids and Mechanical Brides by Pierce the Veil. So there's kind of a little bit of screaming, but, um, I think you guys can handle it. So yeah, um, then you're gonna wanna, hold on, <laughs> I'm trying to, no, okay, I'm so bad at videos right now, I can't even tell you guys, so let me just take all of these out, cut, cut, <laughs> can do, you can just do that. Panda, you are so smart. Yeah, kind of, but not really. So, yeah, just right-clicking, click cut, just to cut everything. And then you're going to want to lock your audio so you don't cut that out. And so... I just would add a call out, then I add a title, so this is just basic stuff guys, I'm sorry, um, let's put that right here I guess, I'm, I'm trying to do this really fast, so, yeah, and the text I'm using is Luck of Luck, and I downloaded that from a font website thingy. It's thefont.com. So, yeah. Um, and just put AJ and V, I guess. I haven't made these in a while, so I'm kind of trying to work with it. Yeah. <laughs> and zoom and pan is just, you just zoom, I guess. This thing. It zooms in. You can around, I guess. And then just drag it to wherever you want, like that. See, and I'll just move, I guess. Um, and then you're just going to want to get a recorded part, I guess. Okay, let me cut this out just so I can show you guys this thing. <laughs> so you're going to want to blow it up a little bit. 
And then to green screen, you're going to want to go to Visual Properties, remove a color, scroll down, color, select a color, and then click that. And then it'll turn black, but you can always just get a background, download it, it make it your own, whatever. And then you're going to want to push this up to track 3 and then put the background right here and then blow that up too. So, yeah. And I'll just say, like a rush. <laughs> That's the first <coughs> set of lyrics. Sorry, I'm kind of sick, so I kind of sound weird. Yeah. And then just zoom and pan is that kind of thing. I'm just trying to play around with it. You'll kind of figure it out. And then I'll move like that. And then you're going to want to go to callouts, add callout. And then I usually go with a lot of shapes like that. And then fix it to your liking. And then I usually just fill it with white because it looks pretty, I guess. Drag that behind there. And then it's going to be behind the wolf instead of it being on top of it. So yeah. And you're going to want to kind of shrink it just a little bit. There. Yeah. <laughs> Basically that's what it does. And then you can always add an animation too. So you would go to visual properties, add animation, and then whatever you do, this thing, it'll do in the video. So I'm just going to spin it around a little bit, drag this back in, add, just make it like that, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, so let's kind of do, well, sometimes it doesn't work that well. Let me try that again. Okay. Add animation. Move that over a little bit. Just do that. So yeah, it's just gonna move around like a little bit. So basically that's kind of what I do on most of my music videos. And let me just get a random recording. Oops. Cut that out. Cut that out. Delete. Okay. So let me just drag this in randomly. Blow this up a little bit. And to make it kind of like iMovie effect kind of thing, I go to visual properties, colorize, and then I do black. And then you're gonna bump it out to 100%, and that kind of looks like iMovie-ish, kind of, and yeah. <laughs> and I would do white, and that of course makes it white, but just tone it down just a little bit. And basically that's what it is. And to speed it up just a little bit, you go to clip speed, and then erase that, and then just do, I don't know, 300. And that's going to make it really, really fast. Kind of. Yeah. So, as you can tell, that's how you speed it up. I hope I'm not doing this too fast. Let's see if I'm forgetting anything else. Um, transitions, I guess. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell how do that. So you just drag in your transition and it'll play for you. So yeah. And if you want to edit it, just kind of cut something out or make it shorter. Just drag it in and then right click and click cut. So yeah. So I'm guessing that's all you need to know basically. 
besides produce and produce and share, would you go to, to this and then you click show to YouTube and then you add your titles and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I'm not doing this too fast and I hope I can stop this. Oh no, I made it too big, I think. Okay. Yeah. Bye.